One of the fastest ways to grow your real estate company is to get the right people in the right seats inside of your organization. And one of the fastest ways to sink your real estate company is to have the wrong people inside of your company. I want to show you the exact process that I follow to bring the right people into my company and make sure that I have the right people inside the organization. So you've all heard probably of business core values, personal core values. Well, the core values are the foundation that we build the entire company on. The core values, whenever you use them properly, they are the lens through which we hire everybody inside of the company with. So when we put our core value lenses on, these are the lens that show us whether we're bringing in the right person or we're bringing in the wrong person. It'll show us who we want to bring in and who we want to repel. Also, core values, whenever you establish them, they should attract the right people to your company. That's how you know you're in alignment with somebody else's values is that you attract to each other like a magnet. Also, just like a magnet, if you have opposing core values, you are going to repel each other just like when you take magnets and you try to put them together when they're the opposite poles, they're going to repel each other. You literally cannot even force them together. So how do we find our core values? Well, the first thing that we want to do is, is understand what core values are going to be used for. Core values are the lens through which we hire and fire everybody inside of the company. So it's literally what shows us whether we're going to keep somebody or whether we're going to let somebody go or not bring somebody in in the first place. So it's a really, really important thing that we must establish as the foundation for the company. And also, as you start to grow, you are going to have other people who are going to be hiring personnel inside of the company as well, not just you. So as you start to develop managers, as you start to develop leaders inside of your company, they are also going to be doing the hiring. Your core value process is what is going to unify the team on who we hire as a company, as an organization, because this is how, as you start to scale, as you start to build leaders, they are going to be able to bring in the right people for the company and they're not going to be bringing in the wrong type of person so that everybody's in alignment everybody's on the same page with who we want part of this organization so when you're establishing your own core values these are the values these are the traits these are the characteristics that make you who you are they are the core values of you as a person they make you who you are like they are a trait there. It's not something that is inherently taught. It's something that is part of who you are as a person. So when you look at yourself, when you evaluate yourself, you want to look and say, what are the traits that make you who you are? What are the traits that make you, you? I'll give you my process for how I came up with my core values. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. And if you already have team members in place, you wanna look at the team members and you wanna say, what are the traits that I really resonate with this team member on? What are the traits that, if you have somebody that you really click with, what is it that causes you to click well with them? Why do you jive so well with that person? What is it that, that makes you connect with them or attracts you to them? What is it about them that attracts you to them? What I did personally, I made a list of all of these traits, all of these characteristics of people that I truly resonated with on my team or people in my life that I truly resonated with. I made a list of all of these characteristics that I resonated with in these people that I truly clicked with that I, I found myself attracted to. After I've made this list, the goal here is to narrow it down to three core values, three core pillars that are going to be the values that the entire company upholds that we make decisions, hiring and firing decisions based off of. And why do we narrow it down to three? Well, if you're passing on hiring responsibilities to somebody else, it is significantly easier to make decisions if you're only evaluating three values versus five or more. The more values that you have over three values, the harder it is for somebody else to make decisions as well because it's really easy to identify three traits. It's really hard to identify five traits, especially if you are in an interview. So we wanna take this list 
and we want to narrow it down to the three essential values that are non-negotiables because that's what these values are going to be. They're going to be non-negotiable values for your entire organization. So once you are looking at these values, and I, I will share my core values with you to give you an example of what core values can look like. So typically I will have like a descriptor of my value and then I'm going to have, so I'll have a, my, my core value and then I'm going to have a description of the, of the core value, what it means to the organization. So my first core value for our company is relentless pursuit of excellence. So for me, I want to make sure that we are constantly growing, that we're constantly pursuing excellence. So our definition of a relentless pursuit of excellence is we are constantly growing as we pursue a standard of excellence. So the second core value for my company is extreme ownership. Now I got this term from the book, extreme ownership. And basically for me, extreme ownership means that we take full responsibility of the results that we experience. So basically what I mean by this is everything is our fault. Literally, I believe that everything is our fault. All of the results that I experience are my responsibility. It's all on me and it's not anybody else to blame for any results that I experience in my life or in my business. So if there's something happening in the business then that I don't like, it's my fault as a business owner. If the entire team has this same mindset, then nobody in the organization is pointing fingers at each other. Everybody looks at themselves and says, it's all on me to fulfill my responsibilities for this function of the company. And when you get an entire organization operating on that wavelength, you get an entire organization taking ownership and everybody ends up moving forward at an extremely fast pace because everybody's looking at themselves taking ownership of their own results. That's why extreme ownership is my second core value. And then my third core value is steadfast integrity. I wanted a core value that was somewhat all encompassing when it came to the character side of a person. So steadfast integrity means that we do the right thing even when it's hard, even when it's uncomfortable. As a company, I want to make sure that we are doing the right thing no matter how hard the situation is. So are we operating with integrity, steadfast integrity with every decision that we make? That means that there's going to be hard decisions and we're going to have to make a call. If each person inside of the company operates with steadfast integrity, that means that we're going to have a really healthy organization. Nobody's going to be stabbing each other in the backs, but also the people that we are doing business with, we're going to operate with integrity with all of the people that we're going to be doing business with. So these are my three core values inside of my organization. I share these to give you guys a little bit of a guideline on uh, what some core values can look like. And these are the three core values that we hire and we fire based off of. So when we're in an interview, we're looking for, does this person operate with a relentless pursuit of excellence? Do they take extreme ownership over every result in their life? And do they operate with steadfast integrity? So that's the lens through right which I hire. So what I would recommend that you do is you go through your own exercise and you list out all of those characteristics of people that you resonate with, people that you align with, people that you magnetize to and make that list. And then what you want to do is you want to narrow it down to your core three, your non-negotiable values. And to give you an idea of how long this took for me, this took literally probably like 10 hours worth of work. I did it by myself and then I met with my COO and then we spent another four hours worth of work. So it was probably 10 hours worth of thought process that went into coming up with these three values, which is a kind of a, a grueling process. But if you do it right, this is the foundation that your entire company is going to be built on. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button below. And if you are looking to grow your real estate wholesaling or flipping company, I have attached some resources in the description below to help you grow your business.